From the day of its arrival in August of 2021, the Ocean KG935G became an instant favorite within the GMRS community. Now there is a new version of this top-of-the-line GMRS portable handheld that could just be over the top. We're talking about the new KG935G+. Plus. Yes, the 935G+. Plus. It's, it seems like it's uh, been plus season here at, at uh, By Two Way Radios, but this is my favorite. We, you know, we had the KG1000G+, Plus, the mm-hmm. KGXS20G+, Plus, and now the KG935G+. Plus. We saved the best for last, really. <laughs> is it really going to be the last? I can say it's the last plus <laughs> in the... The, the near future, future. so uh, we're well, three for three. Uh, you heard episode uh, 174 where we talked about the uh, XS20G+. Plus. Um, we mentioned that, okay, it's kind of a slight upgrade, not a whole lot going on. There are some changes, but it wasn't really significant. Uh, this episode, we have the KG XS20G+. Plus. Much like the KG one thousand G plus, it's not uh, it's not a lot of new um, groundbreaking, earth shattering features. But this is a whole different ball game here. This is a completely different deal. There are some very significant changes to this radio that really do put it over the top, in my opinion. Yeah, with with the XS twenty uh, G changes and even the one thousand G changes, the hardware was largely left alone. Here, there, there are more along the lines of hardware changes. Um, uh, the actual circuit of the radio, the radio circuit itself is the same. Let's go through some of the easy stuff first with the physical changes to the radio, because there are a few, not that many, but are a few. The probably biggest feature that I think a lot of customers will think that the addition of the USB-C charging port is the biggest feature. So what what we have, and by the way, this is the 935G Plus, um, looks the same, mm-hmm. unless you get a closer look, you know, a close look will show you there's, it says plus here, there's a few button uh, titles that have, the print on some of the buttons is a little different, um, but the biggest physical change is that USB-C port on the back of the battery. That is a huge change, actually. Um, yeah, people people love the USB-C. We, we mm-hmm. went USB-C with the KGS88G. Which was very well received. People really liked that. Uh, what we've done here is add it onto the battery, not mm-hmm. onto the radio, uh, which is actually good news because now we'll sell this battery as uh, a an accessory. If you had a 935G and you're not going to upgrade to the Plus, You can still get the battery and take advantage of the USB-C charging port. I think Um, that's a big plus right there because, hey, you know, I I don't want to spend more on the 935G Plus. I don't need all the extra stuff. Now, granted, they haven't heard all the extra stuff. But at least you can spend um, a lot less and just Mm -hmm. get the battery if if the USB-C is really what you want. And remember, uh, this battery will also work with the 905G and the KGUV8H amateur radio. It will also work with the UVN1, won't it? It will. Yeah, yeah. The, the DMR so, amateur yeah. radio. Thanks, Rick. Yeah. I'd forgotten about that one. So, so I actually, it slipped so my mind. Now. <laughs> it shouldn't. That's a great DMR so, radio. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot going for it with just just with the USB aspect alone. Now, hold on though. We got to we got to mention the drawback okay. to the USB-C battery. Is there a drawback? There is a drawback because we used to ship the 935G with the 3200 milliamp battery. Mm-hmm. And that is a, a you know super high capacity. That battery will last for days and days and days. We had to shrink it somewhat to a 2600 milliamp battery, which is the same size that we shipped with the 905G right. standard. So it's still a very long life battery. But in order to make room in the pack for the USB-C circuitry, we had to remove some cells. I think that's a minor drawback, really, when you consider the fact that, well, yeah, maybe the battery might need to be charged a little more often, but it's USB-C charging. You can just plug it in and do a charge on it, and you're, you're back in business. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It, it, it's not uh, – it wouldn't be a huge deal to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you still have – 
at 2,600 milliamps, a battery that will last four days. And now when you, you want to charge the radio, you don't have to take this with you. You just have to take just this and have a, a USB-C charging cable that, um, you know, there's a lot of infrastructure for yeah, USB-C. Yeah, anyway, you can fairly inexpensively find a USB-C cable that will plug into your car or, a, you know, a DC port or something like that. So you yeah, can charge sure. on the go. This is just one of the physical changes to the radio, but there are a couple of others that are worth noting. The f- LED flashlight is much, much brighter mm-hmm. on uh, the 935 G Plus than the 935. It's a significant uh, brightness I- I- increase in the LED flashlight. And also the speaker is louder and clearer in the 935 G Plus than the 935 G. So we've got a USB-C port, we've got a louder, uh, clearer speaker, Mm -hmm. and we have a brighter flashlight. So those are the three hardware enhancements. Now, there is another enhancement, and that has to do with the uh, weather alerts. Uh, I, I instead of just the weather alert, we have weather alerts in the radio. We have supports all the the NOAA weather channels, has the weather alerts, but now we have multiple notification types with these alerts. Yeah, the the improvements to the weather alerts. I mean, if everything we're going to talk about that we did uh, with this radio, the enhancements to the NOAA weather alerts, it, mm-hmm. that was the most time consuming and involved the most testing. I mean, we spent many, many hours making sure that we got weather alerts right on this model because they they weren't implemented uh, in a great way on the 935G. Um, they, when you use weather alerts on a 935G, they only scan when you were in scan mode. Mm -hmm. And um, when you were in scan mode, it would scan the weather channels in the background uh, um, and you would see uh, a, a signal strength meter in scan. It would slow down your scan. It wasn't implemented very well. Um, But now weather alerts work all the time. They work on the weather channel that you've selected as your weather channel. And there's multiple ways to get a notification when a weather alert comes in. You can go into a menu item and select if you want a icon on the screen, if there's a weather alert. So, um, You'll basically just see a little cloud on the screen and you'll have to press a key Mm -hmm. to exit that mode. You can also say you want a tone alert when there's a weather alert. So every 60 seconds um, until you clear off the weather alert on the radio, you'll hear a loud siren type sound. You can also set your LED flashlight to pulse, letting you know there's a weather alert. It's a a visual alert, yeah. You can also combine the... Um, tone alert and the pulse alert for the flashlight, or you can just have it go straight to the weather channel immediately and let you hear what the emergency is. So you've got a lot of configurability. I don't know of another radio that provides I don't this either. level of configurability on weather alerts. I think a lot of of folks who are uh, really reliant on the weather features of this radio are going to really like this. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to say I'm very proud of the way that this weather alert um, yeah. system has been implemented in the radio. And I, I don't know of a radio that, that does it better, honestly. 